Turkey as the what we aspired of Turkey, the bridge between East and West, the secular nation, uh, uh, the strong NATO ally has not been realized under uh, President Erdogan. Uh, the purchase of the S-400, which is a violation clearly of CATSA, uh, the um, engagement that it has had uh, in destabilizing actions in Syria, uh, the uh, invading into the territorial waters of Cyprus in terms of its exclusive economic zone and seeking to drill there, a, Cyprus, a member of the European Union, uh, a claiming of a whole area uh, of what would be Greece's exclusive economic zone all the way leading to Libya. Uh, the support uh, that Erdogan had for Azerbaijan and the engagement in its aggression in Nagorno Karabakh, which cost so many lives, and I believe there are war crimes involved there by the Azerbaijanis. Um, all of this and so much more. Um, I hope we will not uh, have under the incoming administration, uh, President Trump, in my opinion, coddled Erdogan. And he continued to move forward in all of these pejorative ways, including Libya, which uh, I didn't mention. I hope we have a clear view a policy as to what Erdogan is, what he's doing. When you can say about Turkey that more lawyers and journalists are in arrest in Turkey than in any other part of the world, and that's saying something, considering some parts of the world. So are we clear-eyed about uh, Turkey under Erdogan? We are very clear-eyed. And uh, the bottom line is that uh, Turkey is an ally that in the many ways you cited is not acting. Uh, as an ally should. Uh, and um, this is a very, very significant challenge uh, for us, and we're very clear-eyed about it.